Hey, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be going through my collection and doing a shop my stash to come up with this look. And I'm going to chat with you all a little bit because there's a lot going on in my life right now. And I just want to share some of that stuff with you. So that's what we're doing. Playing around a little bit, having fun with makeup, gabbing. If that sounds interesting, please be sure to stick around. But if you're just now making it to my channel and you're not subscribed yet, maybe you've been lurking a little bit. <laughs> if you've seen other videos of mine, or if this is your first video and you enjoy it while you're here, don't forget to tap the subscribe button. Ring that notification bell while you're at it so you don't miss future uploads. Let's get into this look. Okay, we're starting off with an empty container. Uh, let's move up to, let's go here first. Why not? Let's hit the foundation turntable. <laughs> so what I've been using the most here lately is like my Estee Lauder, been mixing it in with some ColourPop, maybe some Charlotte Tilbury. Like I have a set handful of foundations that I use on a daily basis. So I kind of want to use something that I don't typically use, but the makeup's got to last today. So... We are going to grab Estee Lauder just as like a binder. I don't know if that, that's actually true that that works like that when you, you mix in something like that. <laughs> if it actually helps to make things long wearing, but that's, that's what we're going to do today. So we'll start with that and then I want to mix in, let's get uh, the NARS. I need to do another foundation declutter because there's just too many of these that I don't use. And they're taking up room. Let's grab Dose of Colors. One more. So we got two mattes and a natural. You know what? Let's grab this one. This is a really good foundation. Don't mind my outfit choice, by the way. This is the Light Reflecting Foundation. It's really nice. I just don't ever use it. So let's... Let's mix those four together. Looking at the first set of Alex drawers here, let's pick out a primer. Mm. Now again, since I want this to wear all day because I have things to do, typically I would go for the Oil and Shine Control or my Hourglass airbrush primer, but we're going to switch it up today. What have I not used in a long time? This needs decluttered again too. This whole drawer. I'm going to go with the Becca Skin Love. I used to love this primer. I haven't used it in quite a while, so let's just toss that in there. Okay, down to concealers and odds and ends. Gotta have my Becca under eye corrector, always. Gotta have my blue mixing pigment, just because I don't know how to match foundation. So this helps in making it a little bit more cool toned, a little bit more neutral. Usually I use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It's fantastic. I have a backup of it already. It just, you know, it looks good underneath these old eyes, but I want to switch it up today. I do pretty good rotating through these. This is another area I need to get through again and declutter. I just need to do a really good deep declutter and get rid of stuff I'm not using. I like to hang on to stuff so I have a collection, but what's the point if I'm not going to wear it? Right? Uh, don't know how long it's been since I've used that, so let's pull that, and we'll pull one more. Need something pretty light. I guess let's pull KVD uh, to go with that, since it's lighter. Okay. I think that's it. Powders. This is another area that I typically rotate through daily. I've used my Laura Mercier recently. I used the One Size recently. I love the Halo Glow from e.l.f. It's got a really nice sheen to it. I've used that. I've used Pretty Vulgar. I've used Too Faced. Too Faced. Um, I've used both of these. Dang. I like to use a loose powder just because I don't really want to add coverage. I'm just trying to set my makeup. I've used Fenty. How to Beauty's a fave. I don't know what I haven't used. I mean, I guess I haven't used 
the Anastasia or the Cody Airspun. I'm just not a huge fan. They should probably go, right? Why keep them? Let's pull the ABH. If I can freaking get it out of here. <clears throat> like, this is a massive jar of powder. And I don't ever use it. Okay, let's pull it. Y'all would be so proud of me. I haven't been buying anything. I've just been working my way through what I have. Getting to know my products. Okay, this is my bronzer drawer. Recently from Influencer, I received this from Beauty Blender. And it's a duo product. We've got bronzer, cream bronzer in the bottom. And then up top is a putty-like highlighter. And it's a little weird. It's pretty mushy. Reminds me of the Super Shock highlighters from ColourPop, but even more mushy. Like, you can see it. I mean, it's okay. It's nothing exciting, you know? I don't know if I want to use that today, though. I feel like the bronzer is just a little too orangey. You can see I've already swatched it. See, it doesn't look too bad on camera right now, but it's pretty warm. Should we try it? Let's try that today, because I haven't tried it yet, and I need to try it. For my review and I have mine in pearl and buff I don't know if I'm gonna use this highlighter today though I'm just mm, I'm just not a fan of that really goopy like it's sticky you know look at that Ugh. I don't know I don't know you <laughs> we'll see when the time comes we'll see if I'm feeling frisky and so that'll be my bronzer I'm probably still going to need a powder bronzer to go on top. I like to layer my makeup. It makes it last a little longer. I love my hourglass bronzer. Should I just pull that one? Yeah. That one right there. OG. Fantastic. For my blushes, I have been using a lot of cream blush here lately. Love cream blush now. I don't know who I think I am. But it works, especially when I'm layering products. I've become a huge fan of these from Charlotte Tilbury. They're Glowgasms. They're yummy. And then the uh, Melt Cream Blushes, since I was a, got a little eager and bought the entire set, since they were on sale, I got them super cheap. I think I paid like 50 bucks for all of these, which is like a total steal. Um, and I've been using them a good bit. <sighs> what have I not used in a while, though? That's the type of stuff I should be using. What's, like, lingering back there? What's hiding? Something that doesn't get enough love. I do rotate through my blushes a lot. I do my makeup for work every day. So I'm always trying different combinations and trying to use what I have. What is that? Patrick Ta. Ooh, that's pretty. Well, let's pull that one. Pietrick. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And we're going to shimmy this way. And this is hard to do while holding a phone. So I apologize if it's a little jerky. I do the best I can, okay? All right. You know, my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Mm. This mug is old. It smells like Play-Doh. And I cannot bring myself to get rid of it because I've barely used it. And it's so expensive. So let's throw that over there. I will have to go on top of it, though, because it's not probably going to peek through the powder. I don't know what look I'm going for yet, so I don't know what color highlighter to use. We'll come back to it. Okay, what's next? My drawer of lashes and mascaras. So this drawer has been heavily decluttered. There was like 80 mascaras in here, which I know is disgusting. <laughs> uh, but I am down to a much more reasonable number now. I don't use lashes. My daughter uses these. So I just kind of keep them in there for her, basically, since I, don't, I can't be bothered. And honestly, when like I'm going to work, the only mascaras I really use are my Maneater. I'll use... The Tarte Tubing Mascara, which is really nice. I'll use the ColourPop Act Natural. And that's about it. I really don't use anything else. I don't know. Like, I like the Tubing Mascara from Tarte, but it doesn't give me much volume. 
I'm going to use the Act Natural from ColourPop. It's a really good mascara. When I first used it, I wasn't too sure about it. It's, it's fantastic. Okay, I still need to get stuff for the eyeballs. So, what do I want to do about eyeshadow today? Ooh. I just, a friend of mine just sent this to me. I haven't tried this out yet. Holy Moses, look how pretty this red is. Oh my goodness. I don't know what to do. I have not been wearing eyeshadow at all. Literally not at all. Such a shame. Please don't mind my dirty floor. I've also not been cleaning my floor. <laughs> I really should declutter again. Let's check out the other side. Okay, I forgot. This is where the newer palettes went. New-ish. I want to use something that is so pretty. I think I've only used it once for work. I'm going to pull this just in case. We'll think about it. We'll think about it, Huda. This one's beautiful. Like, look how pretty. Goodness, that's pretty. And then this one, oh my. The shimmers in this one, just freaking stunning. Like they did such a good job with this pat. Look at that. This is Bella Butte Bar's, what is it, Strange and Unusual? Yeah, such a gorgeous palette. Wonderful multi-chromes, shimmers, like what? There's some really beautiful shades in here, and it makes me want to play with it. I'm like, look at these. Watch. What? Oh, my. Mm, witch Doctor. It's so pretty. Look at that bright green. I can't help it. I can't stand it. Okay, I'm done swatching. What do I want to do? One more swatch. <laughs> um, Do I want to be all shiny and shifty going in here to get blood drawn? I mean, it doesn't really matter. I don't really care. I don't know. I'm going to pull this just because I don't know if I'm going to use, I don't know what I want to use yet. I'm having a rough time here. I'm not able to form opinions right now. So I'm just pulling random things and I guess I'll decide when the time comes. Was that it? Why did I feel like I had one other new-ish palette? Maybe I don't. Mm. Oh shit. Yes, I do. I haven't used these yet. So Strange from Unearthly. So pretty. You know what? I'm pulling it. And then the Weirdos. I'm waiting on replacement shades for this one. I'm waiting on this one and that one because that one is tragic. I know I showed it in another video, but I still can't get over how dry. Like, can you see how hard I'm pushing? Literally nothing. How does that even how? I don't even think I could cut it. Eh. How? I just stabbed into the other one. But the rest are good. This shade here. Wow. Look at that. I could just sit here and swatch all day. Look at that, would you? That's special. Very special. This one's okay. All right. I'm going to pull that little stack and then we'll decide once I get to the eyes because I have no idea what I want to do. Okie dokie. That is my little tray of goodies for this chatty get ready with me or shop my stash, whatever you want to call it. We're just going to chit chat a little bit while I apply some makeup. So this video is not going to be so much about the makeup that I'm applying, but more or less just catching up with you all. It's been a while. There's a little bit that's happened and some stuff that's going to happen in the very near future. So I just want to apply face and makeup and relax a little bit and chat with you all and just kind of relax. So that's what we're going to do. Somebody wants to say hi. Probably different from last video. I guarantee it. It's been a while. Hey guys. What's new with you? Mm, what did we leave off of? It's been a while. You got another nose piercing. Oh yeah. This is my new piercing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, not much has changed. 
I mean, I'm still 14. Wait, was that 13 on here? Last time? Honestly, I don't remember. It's been a while. Possibly. I'm going to be 15 soon. Not really. Like four months. Five months. Something like that. Four months. Yep. Four months till I'm 15, y'all. A little scary. It's scary for me, too. I mean, she'll be able My to get a permit. Yeah, it doesn't mean I'll be able to, like, drive, drive. I don't know whose Carmex this is, but whoever left this at my house, you need to come get it. Because I don't want your crusty, dusty, busty But Carmex. you're using it, ain't you? I'm not using it. Oh, then what are you doing with it? I don't even know. I just picked it up. Oh. I was going to clean it. And then use it. Sanitize it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Stole your chapstick. <laughs> don't get it. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to leave. I just heard your phone. Right here. All right, well, she's leaving me, so. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. Okay, so let's just start off. I'm just going to grab my products, and we're going to go to town here, and we're going to chat a little bit. First and foremost, I know I say it every time, <laughs> and I'm going to say it again. I miss you guys so freaking much. This is, like, the, over the last year, this is the least I've uploaded since I've been on YouTube. It's been very sporadic. I hope this isn't expired. By the way, this is the Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. I haven't been on YouTube very much over the last year just because of all the health crap and not feeling good. And, you know, when I do have free time, the last thing I want to do is film a video. I just want to rest because I'm still working and, you know, doing the adult stuff, taking care of business. As I've said in my prior videos, YouTube has 100% taken a backseat because of those things. And I miss my community. I miss filming. I miss playing with makeup. I miss testing out new products. I miss all of it. YouTube is something I really, really enjoy. And every time I do get around to filming a video, I tell myself like, I need to do this more often because this is nice and relaxing. And why don't I do this more? It's, it's just because I'm freaking tired. <laughs> Forgot how much I liked this primer. I hope it doesn't start pilling or doing anything weird since it's been a while. And I, it may be expired. I'm not sure. I have a little medical band on my wrist that I have to wear until Friday. Today's Wednesday. Had to get some blood drawn today. And uh, I was told I needed to wear this band until after my surgery. So at this point, it's an accessory, you know? So if you see that hanging, that's what that is. It's because I had to get a COVID test and I had to get a blood draw today for my surgery, which we'll chat about. So before we do that, let's get into the foundations. As you all know, I like using a cocktail of things. I've got Estee Lauder Double Wear, my NARS uh, Light Reflecting, my NARS Radiant Long Wear. I've got Dose of Colors. And then I have my LA Girl Pro Mixing Color Pigment, the blue pigment, which kind of tones it a little more neutral or a little more cool toning because none of my foundations match me. So I, I have to do that. I'm going to mix all these together and we'll move forward from there. I know I've done a lot of decluttering here recently, but I want to go through and do a solid declutter. I have a bad habit, even when I'm decluttering, of holding on to things because, you know, what if I want to use it or I may use it or I want to get use out of it. You know what I mean? And then I don't, and it sits there. And I have a lot of products like that that I, I think I just need to part with. So it's just a matter of bringing myself to do it because makeup is expensive and it's hard for me to get rid of things just because of that fact alone. I also don't want to have to force myself to use things I don't like, you know? All right, we're just going to start apply. Oh, shoot. I forgot my Becca under eye corrector. You know how many times I've done that? All right, let's do this. I've gone through like two of these already. There's a lot of product in there. As I mentioned a second ago, I have surgery on Friday. I'm having a hysterectomy. I am 39 years old. And, you know, if you've watched prior videos of mine of me talking about all this health crap that I've got going on, then you already know the basis of why I'm having a hysterectomy. But just very briefly, in case you're new here, hi. <laughs> Or maybe, you know, you didn't see the health video or whatever. Maybe you're curious. I have what they believe to be a dermoid tumor cyst, whatever you want to call it, on my left ovary. And it just keeps growing in size. And those do not go away. And uh, at some point, once they reach a certain size, they need to be surgically removed. And it's at that size. So 
That and I have adenomyosis, which is basically when your the lining of your uterus grows into the muscle wall, causing heavy bleeding, causing your uterus to swell, causing all kinds of fun stuff. So they're going to do a hysterectomy and they're going to remove my left ovary, both of my tubes, and my uterus. And they're going to try to leave the right ovary. As long as they get in there and everything looks okay with it, they're going to try to leave that. That way my body still produces hormones with, with the right ovary. So after it's all said and done, that'll be the last man standing, my right ovary. I am both nervous and excited for this surgery. Probably equally both. I'm equally as nervous and excited. Okay, let me start blending because I'm afraid this is going to dry. I'm excited because I've had all this, this health stuff going on now for three years. And a lot of it is digestive, digestion related. And I still don't have any solid answers as to what the hell is going on with all of that. I have little inklings. I just don't have the full picture yet. So I'm like really hoping that some of it has been caused by my lady issues. And then once, you know, once my surgery is done and over with and after I heal, I'm hoping some of those issues get better. But I have no way of knowing until I heal and, and we see, you know, what's going on. But it's just been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun over the last three years. Not really. It's not been fun. It's been a, a freaking nightmare. But I'm just so glad I'm finally getting somewhere. There's really nothing else interesting going on in my life right now. Like, that's the main focal point is my health. And getting better, getting resolution, my surgery, you know, makeup, again, has really taken a back seat to everything else going on. So kind of stinks. Like I really miss playing with makeup and I really miss buying it and being excited about it. I gotta say, this looks really nice. Again, you just never know how things are going to look once you mix them together like that, but it looks really nice. Very full coverage. It's got that sheen to it. It's got to be from the light reflecting from NARS. It looks nice. I'm going to get the rest of this on my face so we can keep talking here. Definitely a little too light. Drag it down the neck. All right. Okay, let's get into concealer. I just pulled two random concealers when we were shopping my stash. I grabbed my KVD, what is this, the Good Apple? I can't read that. The KVD concealer, this is a super light one. It's light 103. I'm pretty pasty right now anyway, so it might not, not, might not be too bad. And then I have the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. This mug is old. I should probably retire this, but let's use it today. Why not? Oh, there's fuzz all over my beauty blender again. And my face, I can feel it. So the last video I filmed, I was telling you that I had to have a colonoscopy and an EGD, and I had to have a breast biopsy, and I had a scan of my liver, which I think I told you all that came back okay. Was that it? breast biopsy, EGD, colonoscopy. Oh, and then I had a hysterectomy coming up. It's a lot. Okay. And when I filmed that video, I had just gotten some of my results. Well, no, I had just gotten some of my results after I filmed it. I was editing it when I had gotten results. So I put a little blurbs in there, you know, throughout the video to let you all know very briefly what some of the result was. Um, but just to include it here. So I had to have a breast biopsy done, and if you've never had one, or you've never, you know, heard about one, or you don't know how it works, I hadn't either <laughs> until I had to have one. Why did I use this much concealer? Can I help you? Can I help you? Yeah, you're acting crazy. What you doing? So basically what they do is they lay you on a table. Well, at least this is how they did mine. They laid me on a table. And the suspicious mass of my boob was kind of on the outer portion of my boob, under like bottom, but outer, if that makes sense. So what they did is they laid me on my side and then they took a syringe or a needle full of lidocaine, I think, a local anesthetic, and they numb the area. And then they take a larger gauge needle that's got a tool inside of the needle that basically when they, it's like a trigger. And when they pull the trigger, 
this little thing shoots out the hollow core in the needle and it grabs tissue and sucks it back in. Kind of cool. Um, and it's all guided by ultrasound. So I got to watch them do this the entire time on the ultrasound machine. So it's pretty wild. But that's what they do. They numb it up real good. And then they take the other little, I call it a gun because it sounds like a clicking noise. It almost sounds like a, like a piercing gun is what it would remind me of. And once they get it in there, like it's still uncomfortable. It just, it doesn't hurt. It's uncomfortable. It's a lot of pressure. Once they get it in there, you can hear them click it and you can see the little needle go in and like jab into the area, the suspicious area. I didn't feel anything in terms of pain, zero pain, just a lot of like pressure. Uh, well, zero pain during the process. Let's put it that way. Afterwards, they take these little Steri strips. They don't stitch it up or anything. And then after that, they take you into the room to have another mammogram done because they put a little metal marker in there. That way, if you have any issues in the future, there's a marker in there that shows them exactly where the mass was, was and where they took tissue from. Afterwards, my boob was extremely sore. You can't lift anything for a few days. I think it's like five days. They don't really want you lifting anything. I had results within, it wasn't long. It was like four days, something like that, maybe. The doctor called to let me know that it was fibrocystic breast changes, which is non-cancerous. There was other types of changes too, but I can't remember the terminology. It was a lot. I just cared that it wasn't cancerous. Good to go. Um, and then I had to worry about my colonoscopy and my EGD. <laughs> okay. Now that I have my concealer down, I'm looking really ghostly, ghastly. So for the bronzer, I got sent the Beauty Blender Bounce Magic Fit Creamy Bronzer and Highlighter Duo. So it twists off here. You've got bronzer on the bottom. Influencer sent this to me, by the way, to test out. This is the bronzer shade. It looks a little orangey. I'm a little scared, but we're going to try it anyway. I want, I want to give it a try. And then the top portion, as I showed you in the beginning, is very putty-like. And I'm not a fan. I'm just going to be straight up here. Not a fan of the highlighter. It's too putty-like. Okay, we're going to move on. <laughs> Some time has passed between me just chatting and then now. So I'm trying to remember what I was chatting about. I'm going to go in with that Beauty Blender uh, bronzer. I don't know if I told you, the shade is buff. The highlighter is in pearl. It's a very creamy. Oh, super creamy. So I had to get my um, colonoscopy and EGD. And the prep to that wasn't bad. It was afterwards. It was after I got home and trying to regulate my bowels again. That's what was rough because I deal with a lot of bowel issues. So that's kind of my concern with my upcoming hysterectomy is that I'm going to have a lot of bowel issues and it's going to be hell because things change a little bit down there once you have those parts removed. But anyway, with the colonoscopy, they did both at the same time, knocked me out. Uh, when I came to, they told me that my blood pressure had dropped really, really low, like scary low. I think they told me it was like 68 over 33, which is not good. And when I asked why, the nurse kind of brushed it off. It was like, oh, you know, we're really not too sure. We think maybe your IV was kinked. And I was like, okay, like not too sure. That's a little scary considering I have another surgery coming up and I'm going to need to be under anesthesia. So I don't like how there was no follow through with that. It was just the one nurse that mentioned it, and then that's the last I heard about it. I did feel pretty dizzy after that for a couple of days. It took a while for me to kind of get back to normal. Yeah, it's a little more warm than what I typically go for. I am going to go over top of it a little bit with my beauty blender to try to tone it down, because you know me. I like to go overboard. Yeah, a little bit scary because of the blood pressure situation. I was told that my colon was so good that they didn't want to see it for another 10 years. <laughs> he said, no, nah, we're good. We don't need to see that joint for another 10 years, which is good. Still leaves me with a lot of questions because a lot of the issues I'm having are happening in that vicinity. So they said, as far as my esophagus and my um, stomach, stomach, I still have a mild case of gastritis, which I've had since the first EGD I had done, which was back in 2019 or 2020, whichever. I mean, that can be caused from the GERD and be caused from, you know, lots of different things. With my esophagus, 
Is that even? I don't like the tone of that. That sucks. I like the formula a lot. I don't like the tone. So yeah, I got my results back from the EGD and I was told that I had, see if I can pronounce this, esophageal candidiasis or a yeast infection in my esophagus, which is just so bizarre because typically, not always, but typically the people that end up with an infection like that are those that have a, like a weakened immune system. So I don't know what's causing all of this. I don't know. But I was prescribed some medication for that. I've been on those meds now for a couple weeks. Haven't really noticed any change in anything. So that was that. No cancer, nothing that looked cancerous, anything like that. So it was just the the overgrowth of candida or yeast in my esophagus. I'm just frustrated that there's been no, no resolution with this weird digestive bullshit. The episodes and being backed up and not being able to fully go and all of that crap. Like, uh, it's just frustrating that I still have zero answers for that. And the only thing that I can do is hope that it's related to the female issues and that once I have this hysterectomy, those issues will get better because if not, my recovery from this hysterectomy is going to be a real nightmare because it uh, it def definitely affects the bowels when you have a hysterectomy. Like I said, this has been going on for the last three years. It has been an absolute nightmare and I'm just glad that I'm finally getting at least a little somewhere, you know? Now when they take out my uterus and my ovary, they're going to be doing biopsies of those as well. So I'll have more information about that once that's done. So for blush, I had pulled the Patrick Ta Do We Know Her? And it is a cream and a powder blush. Look how beautiful this cream blush is, though. It's this really bright, vivid, like corally pink. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to use that. So yeah, today is Wednesday. My hysterectomy is Friday. It's just crazy. They're not keeping me more than a few hours after they do it because they're doing... Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't use, and I do this every freaking time. Hollywood Flawless Filter. I need to put some on. I meant to do it before I did the bronzer. Shit. It smells expired. I'm going to use like a duo fiber brush just to kind of stipple some on, I guess. I don't want it to pull up the foundation or anything. Ooh, too much. Ooh. Oh, that's actually really nice. Just looks really glowy. Do it. But if you've been here on my channel for a while, you've kind of watched this journey, this health journey, my YouTube journey. Things have just changed so very much from like the days of my first few videos. It's everything's changed. Like the entire premise of my channel has changed. Like I was buying so much new makeup and I was uploading fairly consistently for a long time. Again, I've been sharing all this health stuff with you all. So if you all have been here for the entire ride, then I'm sure you can understand why this is such a big deal that this is happening on Friday and that I'm finally getting at least some answers for all this crap. Look at that. Wow. That's beautiful. And if you are one of those people, thank you for sticking around and being here with me through literally the most difficult time of my life. The last three years has, without a doubt, been some of the most difficult times in my life. And that's saying a lot because I've been through some shit. So the fact that I've kind of gone through all of that here with you all, of course, you guys haven't seen the worst of it. I'm not going to share that. It's been some very dark and crazy times, but I just really appreciate the support that I've received from, you know, my longtime viewers and even some of my newer viewers. And some of you guys take the time out to reach out to me on Instagram and ask how I'm doing and just making sure I'm okay if I'm not uploading. I just can't explain to you how how much it means to me that I have this community here and how amazing you all have been throughout this entire crazy journey. So thank you so much. It's incredible. YouTube can be such a positive and incredible experience for a lot of people, or it can be very negative depending on, you know, what you're doing with it. But it's nothing but positivity over here on this channel. And I'm so very grateful for that. Am I falling in love with the Hollywood Flawless Filter? I didn't think this day would come. I've had this shit forever <laughs> and I don't ever use it, but this is nice. Now I need to go over top of that with a blush. So hopefully you can still see it, but holy cow, I love that. Definitely going to get some more use out of that. See, every time I film, I feel so good about it. 
I say, I need to do this more often. I love filming. Why don't I do this more often? It just, it's invigorating and it gives me this feeling of excitement and I don't know how to explain it. I really don't, but I miss it. I miss filming and chatting with you all. Hopefully after Friday, I'm able to, of course, after I'm able to sit for longer than a few minutes at a time, because it's going to be a little rough recuperating. But once I'm able to actually like sit up for an extended period of time and be awake without being in severe pain, I will see if I can film a video and let you guys know how it went. I haven't gotten any kind of use out of this either. So I love going through my collection and finding things that either I've never used or for one reason or another, I would go to use and then just wouldn't. This is one of those products. I think I've only used it like once or twice, but it is so beautiful. And I'm like rarely doing makeup like this. The only time I really do my makeup nowadays is when I'm going to work. And it's pretty basic. I haven't done eyeshadow in quite some time. It's just not been on, like on my list of priorities, you know? Okay, I'm going to hop off here and... Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not going to hop off here. I need to powder. I need to put a little blush on the nose, too. Almost forgot. Just a little smidge. A little bit of color. There it is. I think powdering is going to take some of this away, so... I grabbed the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder. Mine is in vanilla. Like This is a massive container of setting powder. And I've only used it a handful of times because it's just not a favorite. But I'm trying to get use out of what I have. And I'm not really buying anything. So I say I'm not really buying anything. That's a lie. So earlier I noticed that Adept Cosmetics had a mystery box on sale. And they released their newest palette, which is supposed to be inspired by the show, what's it called? Arrow? Something. I'm not sure. I don't watch TV, so I don't know. But anyway, I bought that, and I bought the mystery box because I'm a sucker. And something told me to do it, so I, I did it. <laughs> but that's the only thing that I've bought in quite some time. The only other makeup I've bought, I, I switched gears really quickly from medical stuff to makeup. It's fine. That's how my brain works. <laughs> Plus, I don't want to stay on medical shit the whole time. So we'll talk about, we'll talk about makeup now. But anyway, I bought some singles from Touch of Glam Beauty. If you've never purchased from them before, they have so many nice shadows. Their formula is amazing. It's very, I was going to say very putty-like. It is. It's not all of it. Some of them are very putty-like but very smooth and silky and that's the whoa <laughs> that's the kind of formula that I really enjoy. I don't like a formula that feels too flaky or too textured. I like it to be really silky and metallic and shifty and special. Like that's what I look for. So their shadows are right up my alley. I just took away most of the, the sheen, but I got, I got to. And I just realized I didn't put anything on the lids yet. That's okay. Yeah, that's all I've purchased. Oh, that... <laughs> listen to me. And I bought a ter the Terra Moons, um, some of their most recent releases. I should be getting those in the next week or so, because I got a, a notification email this morning. I recently did a video swatching all of my Cleona shadows. And I told you guys I would also do one swatching all of my uh, Terra Boons, and I am going to. I just wanted to wait until I got these new shadows first. So once those are in, I will be making that video for you all. That definitely helped to kind of melt things together, tone things down a little bit. The under eyes are looking pretty horrific, but that's just because I'm using concealers that I don't typically use. So they're really not doing me any favors. But all right, I'm going to hop off here and do the brows because the brows, they're a process. I'm not going to do that on camera with you all today. I'm not going to bore you all to that degree. I'm going to do the brows. I'll come back. We'll get into some eyeshadow and we'll finish chatting. Before I do anything at all, I need to put on some eye primer. So I picked one that I haven't used in a really long time and I just threw it on the floor. This is the Gerard Cut... What? <laughs> this is the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base. I think I have mine in the shade Light, although it's not too terribly light. It's, I'd say this is more like a medium, but anyway, it is their light shade, I believe. So other than health stuff, 
trying to keep it together that way. I've just been working and trying to not let my health crap affect me when I'm at work, um, which has been a challenge. I'm glad we're into the new year. I'm very, very lucky to work for the employer that I work for. So this little uh, leave that I have to take to have my uterus ripped out will be paid for, thankfully. I'm so grateful for that. I gotta say, I'm very lucky. The benefits that I have where I work. That's like one thing that can really make or break a decision on in terms of like whether you want to take a position somewhere. Look at the benefits they're offering because my job, I don't know if I'd find benefits like that anywhere else. They're really amazing. Not only is my health insurance great, but just the paid time off and stuff. And they offer, again, the short-term disability leave and whatnot. I couldn't imagine not having that available to me. Like, what would I do? I guess I'd be burning through my paid time off, but, you know, we work hard for that. So I'm glad I don't have to waste it on this. Because last year I didn't get to use my paid time off the way I wanted. I had to use it because I was sick. So every time I got really sick or I had to leave work early or every time, you know, I wasn't feeling well, I had to burn a sick day or a vacation day. I ended up canceling my vacation with my kids. It was awful. So I'm just really hoping that this year's different and after this surgery, I'll be able to actually take my kids on a vacation this year. That is the goal. I'm trying to think of anything else that's been happening besides that. It's just been a struggle trying to get by every day and uh, trying to make it through without completely losing my mind. I don't mean that to sound disrespectful. Like I was really struggling with my mental health there for a while, which I shared with you all. When you have a lot of medical stuff happening and you don't know how to explain it, it's very nerve wracking because you don't know how to explain it and you don't know how to fix it. And I already talked about all that, so I won't rehash it, but I'm just in a much, much, much better headspace now. Like, even not knowing exactly what's happening, I'm still in a much better headspace. I owe a lot of that to my therapist. She's freaking amazing. I'm telling you, a good therapist, y'all, can do wonders. Mine is the goat. <laughs> I told her that in an email recently, too. Because it's true. And I feel like she needs to hear it. <laughs> I don't think there's really a whole lot else going on. My middle child... Got a job. So now I have two out of three children working, which is just nuts. And my oldest will be graduating from high school this year. What? He's looking into colleges. He wants to be a pharmacist. He currently works for the same company that I work for as a pharmacy tech. And he has decided he wants to be a pharmacist, which is really cool. He wants to go to medical school and, or not medical school, pharmacy school. And it's really cool. Then my youngest, she'll be 15 this year. I'm just thinking about like permit and driving and <laughs> there's just a lot happening. Wow. I gotta take these kids on a vacation before they're too cool for me, huh? Man, that blanks out the lids. Holy shit. Blank canvas. You ain't lying. I'm kind of debating on using this really beautiful yellow just because it's stunning and shifty. Doesn't even look like that's what it would be, right? So pretty. Okay, I think what I want to do is use the shades He's Sorry and Power. So it's like a pink, and then we got this dusty purple. I'm going to put the pink on the outer portion and then take power on the inner portion. I don't know. I'm just going to play a little bit to try to create a look. I might toss in something from this palette. Okay, I'm taking that pink. I feel so out of practice when it comes to eyeshadow. I haven't been filming or doing eye looks at all. Sad because it's my favorite part about doing my makeup. Nothing more fun than filming an eye look. Just a wash of pink up here. Still haven't gotten another cat. Thought about getting one several times now. I think Leo and Zeus would love to have a little brother or sister. But, you know, with everything else going on, I just didn't know if it was good timing to bring another animal into the house. And with, you know, the price of everything, how expensive things have gotten, I don't know if I can afford it. Like, holy shit. Thing of litter cost almost $20. Like, what? Craziness. I thought about doing it now but since I'm going to be out on leave for a while. And I'll be able to be home and kind of supervise a little bit because I'm a little worried about leaving... A new one home with uh, 
frickin' frack because they get a little aggressive, you know? A little territorial. But I just don't know yet. Okay, now I want to dip into Power, which is that really pretty, like, dusty, purplish gray. Start taking that up into the pink. So I started to do a few things and then I realized <laughs> I wasn't filming. So I finished with blending that up into my crease and then I started taking the shade Invoke, which is this really pretty purple sparkly shade and I started tapping that on the outer portion of my lid. Now what I want to do, I'm debating. I was thinking about taking I'm Flying, which is this really pretty, it's a pink but it shifts orange. I don't know if I'll get it to shift for you. Maybe a little. I'm not sure if I want to use that or if I just want to go straight in with Unusual, and this one is from So Strange, and put that on the inner lid. Because I could do all matchy-matchy and just do the pink. Or hell, I could even just go in straight with Feather, which is that really beautiful, like, iridescent shade. But I kind of wanted to amp it up a little bit, you know? I kind of want to take Unusual. Actually, I am going to go in with a little bit of I'm Flying. Again, that's this one here. I'm just having fun. Having a, having a little bit of fun here. And I'm just going to tap that in the middle. We're going to marry the two shades together here. I'm going to deepen up the outer edge a little bit more. Okay, now for the fun part. Oh, I kind of like that. It's different for sure. It's definitely not a uh, color combination I typically would go for, but that's pretty. That's how I know it's time for me to wrap it up. The camera keeps cutting off on me. Okay. Look at that. I love that. Mm. So fun. Okay. Inner corner. You guessed it. We're going to go in with feather, which is that beautiful iridescent. This is what I needed. This is exactly what I needed today. Ooh. I like to tie that inner corner in with the rest of the look. It just does something special. I didn't do any under eye work, obviously. I don't think I'm going to. This might be one of my favorite looks that I've done recently. I'm going to get mascara on and I'll come back. Maybe I'll throw on some lip gloss and then we'll be done. <laughs> you guys can breathe a sigh of relief that it's finally over. The only thing I have on my lips right now is the Rare Beauty, what is this? The Nearly Mauve Balm. And it's more of like a purpley tone, which is what I was going for. But on the lips, it's looking a little more pink, whatever. I'm not going for matchy matchy. I just wanted to get something on the lips. I love this eye look. I'm in love with it. It looks even better like off camera in lower lighting. It's very like subtle, but pretty and shifty and shiny and I love it. <laughs> so there you go. Let's do a really quick recap of what I put on my face. So for the highlighter, I went in with the Space Age Prophecy. This is from Kaleidos, one of my all-time favorite highlighters. It's just so beautiful. It's shifty and shiny. I mean, look at that. It's ethereal. I love that. I love it so much. It goes really well with this look, in my humble opinion. So that's what I used. For my lower waterline, I used Cry Baby. It's uh, a cream gel liner from ColourPop. This is like an oldie, but goldie. I've used it so many times. It really complements an eye look that has purple in it. So there you go. A little bit of brightening for you. And then for the lashes, I used the ColourPop Act Natural, which is what I pulled during my Shop My Stash. So was that it? I think that was it. It's It's been a long day. It's about to be another long day tomorrow. So again, my purpose of doing this video today was just to chit chat with you all for a little bit, explain to you what's going on in my life. I'm super nervous. I've got the surgery coming up, you know, today. Well, we're already after midnight. So tomorrow, oh my God, I'm just really nervous because I've never had a major surgery before and anything can happen. You know, I mean, anytime you go under anesthesia um, and have any kind of surgery, major surgery, it can be, things can happen and it's a little scary to think about. So especially given, you know, the negative reaction I had to anesthesia the last time I was under. So hopefully by the time you see this, I am in recovery and everything's going wonderful. 
I just wanted to chat with you all because it's been a while and it's, uh, there's just been a lot going on and I'm scared and I miss my community and I miss playing with makeup and I miss filming and I miss it all. I miss everything about the beauty YouTube space. So hopefully one day in the not so distant future, I can kind of get back in the swing of things and get back to filming on at least a semi regular schedule. At least once a week would be great. <laughs> Right now, I'm uploading like once a month, if that. Even after I start feeling better, I still don't want to get back to the place where I was before, where I was buying hundreds of dollars of new makeup a month. That's for me personally, is just so unnecessary. I've decluttered so much makeup. I've given so much makeup away. It's a waste of money for me because it's going to expire before I ever get the chance to use it. I don't need to try every single new release. I don't have any interest in buying everything that comes out or testing every new foundation or buying every single eyeshadow palette. I can't keep up with that. I don't have any desire to do that. So I think going forward, this is going to be just more real life type stuff, content, uh, using what I already have. I am addicted to the shiny, special, sparkly, shifty, multi-chrome, duochrome singles. I can't help that. <laughs> so you'll see more content around that in terms of my singles collections and Maybe I'll do dedicated looks with specific shadows. I don't know. So thank you so much for watching and listening to me blab this entire video. I appreciate it. If you made it this far and you're not subscribed yet and you enjoyed it, or maybe you've been enjoying other videos of mine, if that's the case, tap the subscribe button. Like this video, of course. Don't forget to do that. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.